Well, Coach, congrats on a uh, semifinal victory and getting back to the finals. Again, like yesterday, we'll start with an opening comment and then we'll have questions to follow. Yeah, that was a, a really good game. Eric, um, you know, had a, a march feel to it for, for sure. Um, you know, Southeastern is one of the best teams in the region. Um, you know, they need to be at the regional next week. I know there's still a chance for a bid stealer out there, but regardless of what happens, uh, in the MIAA tournament, um, we just beat an NCAA tournament team on a neutral floor. Um, and so Southeastern's that good, and, and they will be there at the regional, and, and that makes how, how well we play, um, you know, that much sweeter. Uh, really proud of the guys for how hard they play um, and the way we kind of stuck together there at the end when it was looking like it could maybe unravel just a little bit. So, Coach, you said yesterday that if uh, you had been told EIA would have one point, that maybe you wouldn't have gotten the outcome you got. It was still an 11-point win yesterday. What was said to him to maybe get his game turned around today? Was anything in particular mentioned? Because today was the day you were expecting, I guess, yeah. 24 points. And, and, and I, don't, I think people were more surprised at what happened with Dope yesterday than today. Um, that, that's the guy we know. Um, I didn't say one extra thing to him. Um, the, the great thing about Dope is you never have to stroke his ego. You never have to wonder how he's feeling or if he's in his feelings. Dope was super excited last night because SMU won and SMU advanced. Um, Dope will be super excited today because SMU won and SMU advanced. And obviously today he carried the, the water for us and um, you know, was, was a big reason why. So I know Joey already talked to you once, but uh, just take us back through your day and, and what was working for you. Uh, I just can't just learn being aggressive. You know, my coach said he didn't say anything different. He just, every every day, you know, he's just constantly telling me to be confident and to do what I do best. So you know, that helped a lot. Manny, what does it mean for you to be back in uh, the finals here and the Southern Nazarene team is now in the finals for the third time in the history of the GAC? It means a lot. Uh, I was a part of it my first year here. Um, and just that feeling is sweet. I love it. I'm glad for Dope to be in this position that I'm in, too. So. Coach, really, the start of the second half made the difference in the game. You didn't get out and you outscore Southeastern 14 to nothing to open the second half. And, and you were able to hold on to it even through a flurry of shots at the very end. I understand that. Talk about your defense and what your game plan was going in. Yeah, um, you know, you, you write it all down and you have a great plan, but but you think it's a great plan, but you know you're going to have to make adjustments because you're not going to stop them. Um, maybe contain them, maybe try to break rhythm just enough so they miss some of, of the open ones. Um, you know, but don't, the way you start the second half, it puts some real game pressure on those guys. All of a sudden, you know, the, the margin's a little wider, and, and now then jumping up and shooting it early in the clock, there's a little more weight on that shot uh, than there is when, when they're way ahead or, or when the score is, is closer. And, and so I think you, you felt that and saw that a little bit in the second half. And, and the thing we did better was we got the first rebound. There were a bunch of, of times where they missed and, and we came out of there with the ball and, and I thought that was crucial. It seemed like the game was slowed down some too in the first half. Was that, that part of what you had written on the paper? Yeah, we, we would never want to race those guys. <laughs> Number two could run down and back twice before we run down and back once. And so, uh, you know, we wanted it to be our flavor, Joey. And, and our flavor compared to Southeastern's flavor is just maybe a half a notch slower. Um, and, and I think, you know, we had our, our imprint on the game today. Coach, when you talk about Xavier Bryant, the way he kind of dictated the pace of the game, eight assists, and of course he was in here with us yesterday, and he's put together two really good games. Yeah, Xavier's a really good player. Uh, we left the banquet Wednesday night and um, you know said if there was a most improved player award, I think Xavier and Nick um, would both garner a lot of votes for that. And I don't know if there's a higher compliment to be paid to anybody than that you're continuing to improve. Right? That's what we all want in, in all areas, and, and Xavier's certainly done that. Who has to go up against Nick in practice? He, he, he gets that shot to the rim so quick. Who guards him and lets him work on that? Uh, Mo. <laughs> okay. Mo, 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 okay. Mike, yeah, yeah, Mo and Mike, they really, uh, they really got him down there in practice. Um, okay. He's, he's definitely working on his game. There's nothing more. We'll leave it there. Congrats, guys. We'll be left tomorrow in the finals. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys.